Hi friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we have to discuss about simplify the following Boolean function using Karna map. In digital electronics course, digital logic design course and switching theory and logic design course. The given Boolean function is f of a comma b comma c comma d is equal to sigma m of 0, 1, 3, 5, 7, 8, 9, 11, 13 and 15. The given Boolean function contains four variables that are a, b, c and d so that we have to use four variable Carnot map to simplify this Boolean function. The four variable Carnot map structure is here that contains four rows and four columns. So four into four that are 16 cells are available. Each and every cell has a cell number that can be put in the corner of the cell. Okay. Now, horizontal side I am taking two variables and vertical side I am taking another two variables. The two variables can have four possible combinations that are 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0. Here we have to use gray code while writing the combinations in the four variable Carnot map. These two variables can have the four possibilities that are 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0. Here also we have to follow the gray code while writing the combination. Okay. To represent the cell number in the corner of each and every cell, we have to take the row wise combination and the column wise combination. So here for I am taking this cell, this cell number is 0. How we are getting cell number 0? First we have to take the row wise value 0, 0, column wise value 0, 0. So 0, 0, 0, 0. What is the equivalent decimal value? 0. That equivalent decimal value can be put in the corner of the cell that can be represented as cell number. In the same way, 0, 0, 0, 1. Equivalent decimal value is 1. Therefore, this is the cell number 1. 0, 0, 1, 1. Equivalent decimal value is 3. So, 3 can be put as a cell number in the corner of this cell. Next, 0, 0, 1, 0. Equivalent decimal value is 2. So, 2 can be represented as a cell number for this box. So, in this way, we have to write the cell numbers for all the cells in the four variable corner map by taking the row wise number and the column wise number and find the equivalent decimal value. Whatever the decimal value we are getting, that decimal value can be put it in the corner of the box. That number represents the cell number. Next one, here sigma is nothing but sum of, sum of, sigma is nothing but sum and pi is nothing but product. Okay, so here sigma represents the sum and pi represents the product. In this problem, sigma is there, sigma represents the sum, small m, small m represents the min term min term whereas capital M represents the max term. So capital M represents the min term, small m uh, capital M represents the max term, small m represents the min term. So the given min terms are 
ஜீரோ ஒன் த்ரீ ஃபைவ் செவன் நைன் எயிட் ல நைன் லெவன் தேர்ட்டீன் அண்ட் ஃபிஃப்டீன் ஓகே வாட் எவர் த மின்டம்ஸ் வி ஆர் கிவன் ஃபார் ஐடென்டிஃபை தட் மின்டர்ம் இன் த கரஸ்பாண்டிங் செல் நம்பர் ஆஃப் த ஃபோர் வேரியபிள் கார்னாப் மேப் அண்ட் பிளேஸ் ஒன் இன் தட் பாக்ஸ் okay first here min term 0 okay for the min term 0 identifying the cell number 0 in the four variable carnap map so here this is the cell number 0 here we have to place 1 next here min term 1 so identifying the cell number 1 here cell number 1 and the place one in that cell next min term 3 identifying the cell number 3 and place one next min term 5 identifying the cell number 5 and place one next min term 7 identifying the cell number 7 and we have to place one next min term 8 identifying the cell number 8 and place 1 min term 9 identifying the cell number 9 and place 1 min term 11 identifying the cell number 11 and place 1 min term 13 identifying cell number 1 and place 1 min term 15 identifying cell number 15 and place 1 okay so count this how many number of min terms 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so here we are getting 10 ones or not we have to check this is must and should we have to check how many number of ones are there 10 ones are there so here we have to count the number of min terms so there are 10 min terms are there 10 ones are there so both are matched there is no problem at all otherwise again we have to check any min term is missed next one suppose here uh, sigma m is there so in that case we have to place one for the corresponding min term in the corresponding cell we have to place one whereas product of max terms pi is nothing but product m is nothing but max terms in that case we have to insert zero in the corresponding cell of the four variable carnap map okay product of max terms we are inserting zero at the corresponding cell of the given corresponding min term corresponding max term whereas sigma m is nothing but we are inserting one in the corresponding cell of the corresponding min term okay so sigma m we are placing ones in the four variable carnap map pi m we are placing zeros this is the important point so that we have to check whether sigma m is given or our pi m is given when pi m is given we are inserting zero in the four variable carnap map at the corresponding max terms whereas sigma m we are placing ones in the cells for the corresponding min terms this is the important point keep in mind next so once we are inserting ones in the corresponding cells of the corresponding min terms how to group that ones this is our main task the first priority given to oct the first priority given to oct oct is nothing but Eight ones. Oct is nothing but eight ones. Next priority given to quad. Quad is nothing but four ones. 
Next priority given to pair. Pair is nothing but two ones. Next priority given to single. Singleton. Singleton is nothing but only single one. Okay. First priority given to oct. Next priority given to quad. Next priority given to pair. Next priority given to singleton. Oct is nothing but eight ones. Quad is nothing but four ones. Pair is nothing but two ones. And the singleton is nothing but single one. Okay. Is there possibility of getting eight ones or adjacent? <coughs> yes. This column contains four ones and this column contains four ones. These four ones and these four ones can be formed as octet because eight ones are adjacent so that these eight ones can be formed as oct. Okay. <coughs> this is one. Next one. Once we are forming eight ones as oct, what are the remaining two ones? Here one is there, here one is there. For these two ones, these two ones are also adjacent even though they are conjugated. Even though they are conjugated, but we have to consider for this one, this one is adjacent. For this one, this one is adjacent. Okay. So, these two ones and these two ones can be formed as a quad by folding the Carnap map from bottom to top. For these two ones, these two ones are adjacent. Okay. When we are folding the Carnap map from bottom to top, for these two ones, these two ones are adjacent. So, one, 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 one can be formed as quad. Okay. Even though this one and this one is already there in the arc, but for this one, this one is adjacent. For this one, this one is adjacent. So that these two ones and these two ones can be formed as a quad by folding the Carnap map from bottom to top. For these two ones, these two ones are adjacent. So, Four ones can be formed as quad. Okay. Now, so ten ones are already grouped with, by forming one oct and one quad. What is the simplified expression we are getting? Okay. First, I am taking oct. So, here how many number of variables are there? So, four variables a, B, C, D. Okay. So, in this oct, first I am taking 1. This one corresponding to 0, 0, 0, 1. 0, 0, 0, 1. This one corresponds 0, 0, 1, 1. 0, 0, 1, 1. For this one correspond 0, 1, 0, 1. 0, 1, 0, 1. Next, for this one, 0, 1, 1, 1. 0, 1, 1, 1. Next, for this one, 1, 1, 0, 1. 1, 1, 0, 1. For this one, 1, 1, 1, 1. So, identifying the one, for this one, the corresponding row wise and the corresponding column wise combination I am taking. So, this is one. Row wise 1 0, column wise 0 1, 1 0 0 1. For this one, row wise 1 0, column wise 1 1, 1 0 1 1. So, 8 ones are there. For each and every one, we have to write the corresponding combination by taking the row wise combination and the column wise combination. Okay. Next, observe the co 
कॉलम एनी कॉलम कंटेन्स ए कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ जीरो वी हैव टू इग्नोर दैट कॉलम ये कॉलम कंटेन्स कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ जीरो सो दैट वी हैव टू इग्नोर दैट कॉलम B column contains a combination of zeros and ones. We have to ignore that column. C column contains a combination of zeros and ones. We have to ignore that column. D column contains only ones. We have to consider that column. Any column contains only zeros or a only ones. We have to consider that column. D column contains only ones. we have to consider that column in that column d value is 1 d value 1 means we have to write d okay so for this entire octet what is the simplified expression that is d okay next i am taking quad okay so for this quad what are the variables are there a b c d a b c d now these two ones these two ones we have to consider for this one row wise combination is 0 0 column wise combination is 0 0 0 0 0 0 next for this one row wise combination 0 0 column wise combination is 0 1 0 0 0 for this one row wise combination is 1 0 column wise combination is 0 0 1 0 0 0 next for this one row wise combination 1 0 column wise combination is 0 1 1 0 0 observe all the columns any column contains a combination of zeros and ones we have to ignore that column a column contains a combination of zeros and ones we have to ignore that column d column contains a combination of zeros and ones we have to ignore that column any column contains only zeros or are only ones we have to consider that column b column is considered because it contains only zeros in that column b value zero means we have to write b bar c column we have to consider because c column contains only zeros in that column c value zero means we have to write c bar okay so what is the simplified expression we are getting so b bar c bar so that after finding the simplified expression for the given boolean expression we are getting one oct and one quad what is the simplified expression for oct d what is the simplified expression for uh, quad b bar c bar so this is the simplified expression for the given boolean function using four variable carnap map d plus b bar c bar so in this way we have to solve any problem that can be asked in carnap map i hope all of you understanding this video if you have any doubts please put your doubts in the comment section i will try to clarify your doubts if you really like this video please click on the like button and share this video to your friends and classmates and also subscribe my youtube channel so divela srinivas rao after subscribing my youtube channel click on the bell icon to get the future updates in my youtube channel Thank you thank you one and all for watching this video